It goes from like zero to a hundred real quick. <laughs> What's good, folks? It's your boy Dookie back again with Bang. Budget and new gear reviews to help you get the best bang for your tech dollars. I don't know what's all the hand motions for. I'm really not that excited. Just got in from work. About to have me a little drink. Now I need y'all not to judge me right here. This drink is pretty gonna be pretty trash. You know, this is not a proper cocktail by any stretch or means of the word. Do this one-handed. I know all my real sippers, you know. They gonna be thinking like, what are you doing? You know, just a little sippy sip. We gonna go sit down in here, man. I gotta talk to y'all real quick. Can I talk to y'all real quick? Can I highlight my people? Can I highlight my folks? Cheers. What is going on? Why are you so excited? I wanted to do another quick cheap ass tech blog. I wanted to talk to y'all real quick about some stuff that I got for the cheap that really don't deserve its own video. Today I got some bad things to say about some of these things. All right, but first let me start off with something that I really like. Hold on one second. I don't know why I didn't plan better and put that right in front of me. What's up, Lena? You can't. You can't have this. This is mine. Oh, she's sad. Oh, still can't have it. This right here is a Jazz Tech 7-in-1 cable. This thing right here is pretty cool. I've seen a bunch of all-in-one type cables before. Never really thought much of it because, you know, like why would I need to charge that much stuff at one time? Oh, is it seven in one or six in one? One, two, three, four, five, six. I'll put the link down below just in case I done messed it all up. Lena, get out of your ass. You can't do that. There's people watching. Right here you have your USB micro. You have a lightning cable. You have a USB mini, another USB micro, and you also have USB-C. Also, you have a standard USB tip. You can clip it to your belt, you can clip it to your keychain. I don't know if you really want to have all of this hanging down on your keychain. I took this with me to A3C. Whenever I didn't want to carry a long cable, so I just took this with me and it was good to go. Keep one of these in your bag or in your car. Somewhere with quick access so that, you know, if somebody needs a charge, you're good to go. You're the man. Very inexpensive. Something you might want to keep on you, all right? Now this. All right, take another drink on that one. I've been getting a lot of Bluetooth speakers in lately because I love the technology. I love the, ab I love the ability to be wireless. This right here is just another one I got in. It doesn't even have a name. It just says Model M5. I'm gonna put the link down below so you can know to stay away from this. This claims to be a waterproof speaker. So I tested it like a waterproof speaker. Maybe there's other ones that are better quality than this one, but this one was horrible. I shot the review, it didn't sound bad. I'll be honest, it didn't sound bad. It wasn't the best sound. You need some music that's louder than your speakers on your phone. This was definitely a good option, plus it was cheap. But the problem came when I dumped it underwater because it claims to be waterproof. It wasn't even like I took it 20,000 leagues under the sea. It was just a measuring cup with a cup or so of water. I dumped it in, it kept on playing. I was even like, wow, this is playing underwater. <laughs> you hear that? And I started to see bubbles. Now, I got it all closed up. The only opening is this right here, uh, where you charge it at. So that's the only opening. So I closed it, it's flush. This is how it came out the box. So I finished my review. And, you know, I'm saying all types of good stuff. I'm like, man, I took it to show Cookie. I'm like, man, this is pretty cool, it's waterproof. You can take this out to the beach. Five minutes later, after I finished all the shooting, Hit the power button, nothing. I open this thing up right here, water comes pouring out. I'm like, man, that can't be good. After a while, it's probably about two days, I officially pronounced it DOA. It's basically been a paperweight. If you see something that's waterproof and you wanna make sure that it's waterproof, you might wanna pay a little more to make sure that it actually holds up to its claims. 
Why are you trying to attack me, though? Oh, you just want your belly rubbed. You ain't no thug. Now, it may look like I've still been sitting here, but I'm not. Actually, since the last time, between the last bit, I actually went in there and finished the video I was working on. Um, it's already up by the time you're seeing this. It is the review of the Editor's Keys SL600 USB Condenser Microphone. I ain't gonna get all into it. Watch the review. You'll see what I think. Hold on a second. Drink's still good. Alright y'all, I had to stop and take a break. The video finished rendering. It was rendering while we were doing that. If you're watching this and you haven't watched it, please go check that out. Thank you, thank you, thank you for rocking with me. It's been pretty fun, man. We've jumped up to a thousand subscribers. I want to say before I started doing this bang stuff, just off the Crew 54 thing, we had probably about 400. As long as I've been on YouTube, I never maximize like trying to get new subscribers comments and likes we just will make content and put it out man we have fun the people who did see it they saw it. it's always gonna be there so people can go back and check it we can close that i don't even know why um <laughs> i'm sitting here but this came in the mail let's see y'all focus on this this is the state that it came in it actually was in it was wrapped in plastic. I don't know, I don't know where it came from. I don't know. The only thing that I can gather is that, oh, um, it says Wish on the packaging. And I went to look at the Wish site and I don't, I never signed up for Wish. Now what I do see is there's the Geek site. And I had that on my phone a little bit where you can get like all types of cheap, super cheap, ridiculously, you know, cheap ass tech and other things. Now what I think this is, is they give you a gift. Here's a gift just for signing up. So hey, that might be a way for you to get a free toy, free gift or whatever. I have not touched it. All I did was pull it out of the packaging. Um, and this is how it came. So here, let's just unbox it and see what's up. So this is the actual device. That is super tiny. I mean, this is really tiny. This is, I mean, this is my head. You know, super tiny. This is the little remote. This is the battery. It's a second battery. So you do get two batteries with it. You get a couple of propeller replacements. Then you actually get a charger. You get a little charger that says, read manual before use. Here's the manual. Okay, it says to uh, plug. This is the USB charger. You just plug, let me plug that into a laptop and you see it has that light right here when you actually plug the battery in the light goes off that indicates that it's charging 50 minutes to an hour to charge and you get about five minutes of flight time which from what i understand with these little chart with these little you know drones that's about it y'all want to see what happened to my last drone you can't be judging me i don't need you judging me you know what i'm saying but I'm gonna show y'all. I gotta do this for the culture. I'm gonna show y'all what happened to my last drone. Yeah, hey, Lena. <sighs> y'all see that? You probably don't. Let me zoom in. That is my last drone. My first drone. It's so sad when you live in the hood and you don't have ladders and, you know, I ain't really thought about it. It's just up there. I know where it's at. I'm gonna get it down. I mean, I'm not sweating it. It's up there. I like the drone stuff. I want to get me a real professional drone. I mean, that's not saying a lot for me, but you know, I've talked to other drone owners who have thousand dollar and better drones and they've lost them. Don't be judging me, man. Like I said, don't be judging me. I ain't got time for this judgment. All right. So let me plug this back in and there's no power switch on this. So you plug that in, it's ready to go. You turn this on and you move it forward and back. And now it's synced. <laughs> Frankly, I've come to the assessment that it's fun, man, but these things are so hard to fly, man. Like just to get it to go straight or just to hover and not go everywhere, it seems impossible. If I was a little kid, man, and you had you gave me one of these, I probably would spend every hour trying to master it, trying to really 
figure it out. I'm messing with me. Come here, Lena. Come on. She don't understand what's going on. But, um, yeah, we're going to get up out of here, man. Make sure you leave a comment. Check the links below, man, for anything that I've talked about today. And, you know, hit the subscribe, man. Let's keep it rolling, man. Let's keep it moving. Let's keep it going, all right? It's your boy, Dookie. All at your folks. Ha, 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 ha.